Hey, Mark King here, and here's, uh, here's three articles written in the same day, almost around the same time, about uh, Kim Jong-un, okay? So just keep that fact in mind. This is by New York Post. This is Bob Fredericks. Kim Jong-un may be holed up with his 2000 <laughs> Woman Pleasure Squad report. All right. So a couple of days ago, the 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 feminists and the, like I said, the feminists, the social justice warriors, the liberals, all the same thing. They all like have communist um, ideals. So they were cheering for the fact that um, uh, Kim's sister, uh, for her name, um, whatever her name is was uh was going to be was going to be president quote unquote president of the uh of North Korea before America ever had a first female president right <laughs> so obviously that has a lot of uh implications first they don't understand North Korea two they don't care if she's a monster or not as long as uh she has a vagina <laughs> um yeah and um you know, I see some guys uh, commenting like she's kind of pretty. Yeah, she's kind of pretty, but she's also a warmonger, a um, a death, uh, a, a carrier of death, essentially. But of course, that doesn't stop the left from um, pushing a narrative. They could care how many people Hillary Clinton kills. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're insane. They're all insane. They're all evil, right? This is the thing. You know, insane people. Are, are are sometimes evil. They're evil. Those people on the left who believe these things are evil. Who want people to die because they hate Orange Man. They're evil. Anyway, so let's just read this quickly and then get to the two little headlines to show all these things go together. And the North Korean dictator resurrected his late uh, grandfather's budget squad. See, like, communism has upside. <laughs> Unfortunately, not from the not for the bottom feeders, but for the top people. Anyway, now, while dictator's location of the state uh, health remains a mystery, some reports ha- say he fled to his luxury res- resort uh, located on the eastern side of the Korean Peninsula to catch, uh, to avoid catching the virus. Uh, uh, it's within the walls of his protected palaces that the Pleasure Squad <laughs> provides entertainment. So this is uh, some UK paper speculates that uh, that's what he's really doing. <laughs> Uh, it brings me pleasure actually to, um, to, to to hear that stuff anyway again the people who uh, want communism don't really understand in- implications <laughs> this, this will be implications <laughs> anyway um, some decent lurkers and also like under like some of these things that um, that he does or it mentions right here and let me not uh, detract in the late 1970s uh, the height of his power, he sent out. This is the the grandfather, right? The he sent out official to scout the nation for the most attractive young woman, girls, to act as singers and dancers, according to the Sun. That's the UK newspaper, the Sun. Some worked as maids, but the most sexually attractive one were ordered to become comfort woman. If you get my drift. And uh, Kim Kim Il Sung, especially like versions because he believed having sex so allowed them to absorb the girl's ki or chi or life force, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, uh, let's just end this article here because uh, it's it's kind of um, funny, you know. This is what the the feminist worship, you know. Here's um, before we get to that one, here's article two. We forgot article three. South Korean lawmaker, ninety nine percent sure um, Kim Jong Un is dead. So Ji Sung Ho, a North Korean refugee elected to South Korea's National Assembly in, in April told Yunhap News Service on Friday he believes there is a 99% chance dictator Jim Jong-un is dead. Ji's declaration is the first of his level of confidence from an official on the re- record regarding Kim's health. You know, here's the thing, right? You hear contradicting things from the South Korean um, from president or prime minister and then you hear things from um, Trump. It kind of like they sound like he might be alive but they won't elaborate more. Uh, this is what I assume they all know what's going on, but you know, for diplomatic reasons, they're not going to actually say, which is the right thing to do, you know. 
you want to avoid conflict and do things peacefully you know you don't want uh, you don't want any more necessary wars that's really it you, know, you don't you don't show shade in the long, <laughs> wrong direction you, you want basically you don't show, you want to throw too much shade essentially anyway most reports have cited anonymous officials in South Korea and America and the Chinese government on how long it could be endured, to, uh, endured after the cardiovascular survey, surgery I've been informed that Kim died last week Jing told Yonhap such that Kim's sister Jim Jong that's the name Jim Yo Hong would likely take over it's not 100% certain but I can say possibly 99% North Korea is, uh, is believed to be grappling with the complicated secession Yoon Hop emphasized that it could not independently verify his assertion and that Kim did not reveal the source of what he has information. Alright, so we got this here now. This is again this happened yesterday and, and in the same day, right, has another story. This is Bloomberg. North Korea says Kim Jong makes first appearance in week. So you have the man from being dead and hang hanging over with harems and now <laughs> being alive. I just I don't know I don't know. So nobody knows, right? This, this, nobody knows. This this is what communism is. This is what people want in America. Again, the romanticism of uh, communism I just don't get, you know. But I, I'm, I'm not as insane, I guess, as I need to be to understand uh, the positives. Leader attend factory opening after flurry of health rumors. State me his photos. Kim cutting ribbons. So uh, joined by sisters. So essentially, this is the photo that they claim. That's Kim, and this is supposed to be some type of um, fertilizer factory. There is Kim Jong visit fertilizer factory in South Pyong, North Korea, on May first. Images provided by KCNA, um, Korean Central News Agency. So, who knows? It could be a fake. Who the hell knows? But there's the picture. Okay, North Korean leader Un attended uh, the May opening. This is May first. Supposed to be a fertilizer factory. Stay me aside, said breaking an almost three week absence from public events. Kim marked the completion of the uh, Sunchun Phosphatica Fos Fertilizer Factory northeast of capital of uh, Pyongyang, the no official agency said. Stay me released for showing North Korean leader in a black uh, suit cutting a ribbon outside. The parents wasn't immediately corroborated by officials in Washington and Seoul, and the U.S. President Donald Trump and Syria's pres um, presidential office declined comment. Kim's suspicious absence has fueled speculations, which I just discussed. Anyway, that's all. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, who really knows? This could be a great Photoshop job. Nothing I can see, but people are more expert can probably check out lighting and things like that. Uh, the lighting looks. Uh, from the shadows, it looks like I don't know. I really can't tell to be honest with you. It's let the professionals deal with that, but you know, hey, the glass ceiling, I guess, won't be broken for a long time. You know, damn that toxic masculinity. <laughs> Again, I take sick pleasure in hoping this is real just because the, the feminists, the liberals, and the left in general are just absolutely nasty and they're either mentally defunct. Or they're they're purely evil. Hey, there it is. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Share, say, subscribe, thumbs up. This was by Jahi Lee and uh, Maria Jose Valera. This is from Bloomberg Bowie. This last story. And that's it. All right. Take care. Bye.